right, listen, we've heard you talking about, we heard you talking about Seinfeld. We're going to shut you down. It's the worst impression. Okay, look, this is um, Japanese indie games by Red Jackal. Well, not by Red Jackal, but this crate is made by Red Jackal. We're calling it a crate, I guess. Um, I'm going to call it an airdrop. It's a number of Japanese indie games. We've done this. We've done this before. And this is part two, I guess, like or crate number two from Red Jackal. So we're going to start with Salary Man. Hang on a minute. This is not a game I can... Uh, I don't... I got nothing. I can't window this. Good. Um, so keep in mind when making a crate, the, there are some games I can't play because they just don't they just don't show up. Um, windowed mode. Yeah, we need win we need window mode. This is very loud. Okay, um, it's also not responding. So that's good. Why did fucking the corruptor I had the corruptor open for the stuff I'm doing later and that crashed what that was the broken glass noise um anyway this game goes full screen and I don't have the ability to I don't have the, the ability to um Capture it, even with screen capture. Here, let me let me try again. Alt enter doesn't work. Trust me, I try. I always try. Game crashes when I try to tab out of it. Uh, Jackal, if you're here, any, any advice? Good, strong start. Exactly. Exactly. Run it in Windows ME compatibility mode? I've never heard that before. At the prompt, select no. Okay. Yay! That was enough! <laughs> saved. Stream saved. Computer, nude tamed. Computer, salary man. Oh wait, this is salary man. Oh jeez. Okay, hang on, I'm having more trouble. I want to get tabbed out even further so I can... Holy, holy dear God. Okay. I have a feeling this is how some of this night is going to go. Alright, WASD, mouse, right click, move, R. Okay. Okay, I can activate my cell phone. And I can kind of fly a little bit. I can hover. I just, I just need to hear. <laughs> Wasn't this dude an incredible crisis? You know, just generic, like suited businessman from Japan. This is very Bloodborne. Well, it was, until I got stuck. Uh-huh. Well, now I, I can't move.
Why? Why does this exist? It's almost a game. It kind of looks like a game. It kind of sounds like a game. But then when you start kind of investigating a little bit more closely, you realize it's it's really not worth... It's really not worth your time. Okay, so I have a, a map. Okay, so GPS. I'm gonna follow the map. And I'm gonna- <laughs> I'm gonna try to get over there. There's a goal here. Do have any e yep, good email. Holy shit. My business associates. Holy shit! A surveillance camera! God, you scared me. Don't sneak up on me like that. Go! Fight! Oh, fight! Oh. Good. Alright, alright, this is a little bit better than I first gave it credit for. On the, the um, it's time to overwork. Coming after me with fucking knives. I th that's it. That's the whole game. There is one thing I didn't do, and I didn't make the final phone call. So. <laughs> Super businessman in a mustard suit. That's the overseer. If you don't work up to his standards, you get fucking... You get fired, your salary gets cut in half, or you get 40 more hours a week. Oh, man. Okay, well, that was kind of cool. I think it's a good start, except for me fumbling with windowed mode, which um, Vappy will definitely cut, right? Oh, wait. Okay, so next is, I don't even really know how to say this, so, um, Clarout, Clarout Chemicals? Clarout Chemicals? Nineteen ninety six. Oh, oh, oh. I think this actually is a 1996 game. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's um what the fuck is that series? Radius, Parodius. It's like that. Okay, so I shoot never-ending sperms with never-ending sperms. And I can't... <laughs> there's no... There's no theme. It's all just random shit. Yeah. It's like boners, anime girl faces, whales, whatever. Holy shit. The launcher. It's I mean, it's addictive. Uh, yeah. So far, nothing has really posed much of a threat. Yeah. I mean, you got some sick middies, some really loud sound effects. 
It's, it's, it's great. It's great. It, I love it. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, everyone? It's great! I just want to show you that somehow this was reaching full volume. That's the percentage of volume it's at on the mixer. And it's still able to hit levels of ear destruction previously unknown to Seinfeld. I don't even know how it's doing that. Like superior 1996 technology, apparently. Um, so what am I fighting? Not what am I fighting for, I know what I'm fighting for, but I just want to know what this, this is. Oh, I guess I'll never know. Niwa Niwa Panic is next. Oh. Oh. Keep them volumes low, chat. It's gonna be like this all night. Okay, so it looks it looks nice so far. Visuals are nice. It's loud as fuck. Oh, there's these little chickens. Okay, good. Nice, chill, relaxing, fun, family-friendly game. Or not. Okay, it's still family friendly to some extent. These are just real methods for rounding up chicken. Also, this is how you get the mask of truth. And a harp piece. So it's just two controls. That's it. It's just mallet and grab. Uh, I can see how this gets a little harder. Are you you're ma you're angry. You're mad. What do you what what do you want? Hawks are huge. I have Farm Simulator on the Switch, which apparently isn't funny or bad in any, like, real way that would make me want to stream it. And I feel bad because the person who sent it to me was really nice, and they were nice enough to send me a game. But it's... It's apparently, like, just boring. So I don't know what to do now. Shit. Maybe like a quick one-off stream, I'll just try to break it, and then, you know, move on to something else. Anyway, it's a chicken game. The only thing I really like doing with simulator games is, um, finding ways to break them. Not much of a, not much of a simulator type guy. Anyway, that was Niwa Niwa Panic. This one's called Disnami Disnomia. Disnomia. Okay. Um, it's loading. It says here in the notes that it's going to take a little bit of time to load, so... Let us all be patient. You've been disconomied.
Bonus. That was bonus. Choose arcade with mouse, then click OK, and then choose your waifu. Oh, that sounds good. Wow, so many waifus to choose for- oh. Oh, here we go. Now we got some waifus. Okay, I'm gonna name them. This is Bunny Robondo. This one's, um, Milkmaid. <laughs> Ninjaifu. Stray Cat Girl with Tron. Stray Cat Girl Tron. I gotta lower the volume. Okay. Oh, fuck. I didn't want to choose that waifu. Okay, this one is, um, BVO. And this is, um, um, Christine. Oh, their names are on the bottom? Well, shit. Well, good thing I didn't see it. So this is Syphilis, Lily, Ayame, Lena Volger, um, Errol, and Ifria. Okay, well now I know their real names, so I feel a lot better. Let's go random. Random is fine. Okay, I'm ready. Holy shit. So it's just waifu wars. Slow motion waifu wars. Why is it so slow? Gloria! Even work. This game is well optimized. It's time to burst a nurse. Uh, okay. Well, I'm reading the controls. I'm trying to figure out if there's any other shit that I can do. There's like a couple things, but it's mainly just three attacks. And you're limited to three attacks, and one is a super attack. I don't think the game is supposed to be like this. Um, I think it's supposed to be faster. But I, I don't know how I- I don't know how I lowered the speed so much. Um... Maybe there's an option? I don't know. I see that it's locked to 30 frames a second, that could be it. There's key config. There's quit. That's a good button. No, there's no options. Desert throwing shade at Monster Hunter World, saying the only game slower is W... W... M-W-H. Wait, M-H-W. Wow, I got that wrong three times. Twice. And then, well, that in and of itself was three times. Fuck. You begin to full, feel the pull of the hallucination. Oh, God. Oh, it's starting early tonight. Nurse! Nurse, I need help! I'm freestyle memeing. Okay, this one's Parallel Stickman.
Well, this one looks nice. That's all I want. I just want a nice game. Oh. Just a nice game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is a nice game. Visually, it's about what I'd be capable of as well. Like Chimps on a Blimp, I could probably make a game like this. I mean, you know, art style wise. What? The game just closed. What? Wait a minute. You take one hit and the game closes? That had to have been a crash. Either that or it's, or it's the most difficult game ever made. Guess we'll find out. Okay. At least I know I could go into game journalism. It only took one death before I could complete the tutorial. Easy, low-hanging fruit. I say that having lost to Liquid Snake last night like 14 times in a row. Twenty-one times. Oh, it's confirmed twenty-one. So I lowballed. I lowballed. Oh shit. Hurry up, snake! It's going to blow. I might not have anything to say about this game. It's just barely competent. And it's not bad enough to be funny, it's not good enough to be notable. It just kind of exists. A little janky, but it's it's overall pretty good. I'm gonna say that that game was... It was a game. Earlier I said it was a movie. Now it's a game. Really running out of things to say. That's why we need to stream Taco HGR Hyper. I don't know, this game is pretty good, but tacos are better. Hit F2 to start. This game is very loud. Good, good note. Okay. I know how to play now. What? The fuck? It says left and right keys move, but now I can't move left. Oh. Yeah, I guess I'll continue. What? I think the, yeah, the alt tab might have fucked it up. Hang on. Hold the fort. Still not 
still <laughs> fucked. I have a controller plugged in. Let me unplug that real quick. I don't know how much there is to this other than what? Oh, okay, now it's good. There's like no need for this, the hand. The creepy hand does not need to exist. Yep. Yep, that is a very loud game. Once again, I'm on like 10% volume and it's still this loud. I'm gonna go down to 5%. I'm trying to think that... Like, would I ever play this? At any point in my life, would I have, would I have enjoyed this? Like, even in the days when I couldn't afford very many video games and I had to... Um... I had to play Flash games so that I could be entertained. I'm wondering if I would have played this. I don't know. I like ta I like other tacos better. I I think just regular tacos are fine. Princess Heart HD. Okay, whoa. Matrix skull. Oh my. That's how you do a title screen. I'm intrigued. 422. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a second. That's an RPG Maker sound effect. Lots of these sound effects are RPG Maker sound effects. That rock sound effect is the one I used in my fucking RPG. Princess of Time 3D. Ocarina of Ripoff. Oh, it's it's telling me that I don't have the Japanese language pack installed. Character looks familiar. Kind of Marthy. Is that a good butterfly? This is if, like, Ocarina of Time was made by four people. It's got some good low-poly art. <laughs> it's, it's got that. You can... Wait, I can open the door. But I can't get on the floor. Now I can. Getting kind of a Majora's Mask vibe from this swamp. Or, oh my god. That face. I don't 
think you can... I don't think you can jump. So much lore. Now I know. Now I know what I have to do. I have to wake up the dude. else is there to see, really? Go through the door! <laughs> Go through the door! Jesus. I think Jackal got much further than I did. Nope. Tech type. In everything but name. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's, you know, it's a thing. It, it's almost Ocarina of Time. It's a kind of, um... I interpret it as someone who loves 3D Zelda, trying to make a 3D of Zelda of their own. Who knows, maybe this dude went on to go make... ...something really impressive... ...later on in their career. Took me a while to figure out how to close the game. Nantai... Nantia... Ugh, I give up. I don't know how to say the names of these games, so this is just next game. Nantiara Story. First option. Uh, there's... <laughs> okay, so... Here's a knight who's got armor and a sword and shield prepared for this dungeon-crawling adventure. Uh, here's a maid wearing a maid's outfit with, like, a duster. Here's another maid. Oh, wait, no, it's just two characters. So you get to choose between knight or maid. Guess who I'm choosing? many years ago. An ancient evil called the Dust Bunny came to life. What does no find mean? What happened? It's like half Dark Souls, half Castlevania 64. Ribbon Waifu is the only one that can stop the skeletons. Shit, did you see Ace of Spades, Chan? That, that's legit. Oh god, Ribbon Chan, please. You know, there's no way the knight is as good as this. That's, that's definitely the best character. But, I'm gonna try anyway.
Someone just said Vine Sauce is live. You just got a notification. Who's that? This is Seinfeld. It's the it's the exact same thing. Beat him up, but there's so few options. The only button that you can press is space. There's only one attack. Some weird screen tearing. Okay, that that boner snake is awesome. I think the knight may have a bit more stamina though. Well, that's, um, interesting, at the very least. The Soul of Dracula is next, which I guess the previous game could have been called that, and it, I wouldn't have thought twice about it. Okay, all right. This might be the best title screen I've ever seen. The Soul of Dracula. Or not Castlevania, as I like to call it. Oh my god. Oh, totally original concept. Do not steal. It's called Dacula, so don't worry. It's, it's not an infringing. The moon was the D? Okay, fine. I like Dacula better. Come on, give me a break. Let me enjoy my life. Oh, by the way, this is Chad Belmont. A reasonably decent facsimile. Uh, a lot going on. This music doesn't know what it wants to be. Now it does. Weapons like the axe, the knife, the holy water, and the X. Pajama. Why does it just look like they're in pajamas to me? That could be a kid show. Ghouls in pajamas. Kind of a cool enemy. Against roly polies, it is the best weapon. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's Castlevania, but it's not Castlevania. It's the soul of Dr. Acula. Didn't expect to see something like that tonight. That tonight. Um. Oh God. 
there's a warning attached to this game. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, fuck. I went into full screen by accident. God damn it. This one's called Careerus. Okay, this sounds kind of peaceful. Sounds nice. It's going to be a nice game. You're going to love my nuts. What is? So, what do you think the warning was about? melting that's yeah that was part of it nothing wrong with a little squirrel destruction I guess even though there's everything wrong with it <laughs> I mean it's a puzzle game how else are you gonna get the squirrels together to mate just the warning was about the squirrel waifu we, oh shit no if i can be totally honest the squirrel waifu was the main warning but yeah you just like straight up murder squirrels in this If that was the first major puzzle game, I think all future puzzle games would have been very different. Like if Tetris was Squirrel Game instead of that, or instead of what it was. It's the cycle of life. Hi, this is Nicolas Cage. I'm here to tell you that I developed the Squirrel Game. Uh, it's just the cycle of life, you know. Cycle of life. Apparently, um, Kuritorisu means nut plus squirrel, or also clitoris. Huh. See? There's education to be had here on the stream. <laughs> Holy fuck! This one's called, I want to eat fish, or Sakana Daisuke. Cat versus human. Eat those fish. I don't know. Not much of a game, is it? Still, if this came out in 1982, this would have kept people busy for years. So, I can't even really say that. Good.
Okay, Royal Edoma Engine. Oh my god. It says, note, now chat can't accuse me of not putting in to who. Do you know how many people, after I played the Tuhu collection, were... Like, I got so many emails about people that wanted me to play Tuhu. They also wanted me to pronounce Tuhu correctly. I politely declined every time. Okay, for some reason... This, this game is just not capturing. I can't even, I can't even show the game. I'm not kidding. I tried everything. I tried window capture, I tried scre uh, screen capture, I tried turning off exclusive mode. Um... Use your phone? Oh, okay. I'm trying a couple more things. Fuck. Well, I mean, you can hear the music, so if nothing else works, at least we have the music. Okay, let me try something here. Um, set screen mode to window. It is. And then exit. Okay. So I got the game windowed, which it was before too, but now it's just not capturing. This game does not want to be seen. Alright, listen, I tried. Again, if you want to see it for yourself, it's called Roy Royal Edoma Engine. I guess now people can shit on Jackal for not including Tuhu. Nary, I don't have OBS installed at the moment. Nor do I even really remember how to use it. So I can't... I really don't think I can do that. I can describe it to you. Okay, you're a waifu. Um, okay, it's like a grid. It's like a three-quarters view from the top, and you're a waifu, and you're shooting, and there's pumpkins, and turtle shells, and flowers. And I'm shooting, like, fire. But I'm mainly just killing flowers and, like, machinery. Heavy machinery. I did the best I could. But I failed. And that's what the game looks like. You, there you go. See, now you have a visual. It's fine. It's decent. Wish I could show it. 
This is the first time this has happened. Specifically like this. I mean, this has happened before, but not quite like this. Odin to- Odin to do? <laughs> Wait, how do you say this? Odin Todo? Of course, this one captures immediately. Oh my god. You don't stop, do you? Got it. I got a squid. Never mind. Bumo! What, what does Bumo mean? Because it's being uttered a thousand times a second. Is this the fucking Jaws theme? Oh my god. Please, no. Oh my god, it's getting worse. Game of the century. Jeez. No, you know what? I'd prefer not to hear Bumo anymore. Okay, good. That is the stream. That is the Japanese indie game collection from Red Jackal. I have another Japanese indie game collection for a future day made by a different person. But there's a couple decent ones in there. There's a couple funny ones. Nothing laugh out loud funny, but I don't think every Sunday stream has to be that, nor should it be. I think just a collection of weird, interesting little games is fine by me. However, up next, shitty Game Boy Adventure titles. I don't know why I said adventure. <laughs> there's no reason I should have said adventure. There, there's not a theme of adventure. Instead, it's just Game Boy and Game Boy Color games um, that are terrible, and I've never seen some of them. So, should be interesting. But Game Boy Adventure might be a good system for Nintendo to release after the DS line takes a back seat. So, 4DS? No, no, no. Game Boy Adventure. Titles. Okay, stick around. We're going to do a quick BRB. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Red Jackal. Good collection. Um, gonna take a quick break and return with terrible Game Boy games. It'll be an adventure. Stick around.